Welcome to another special Valentine's Day episode of Know Your Universe. Today, we're going to be discussing Daredevil's lost loves. Matt Murdock is always falling for the wrong girl, and what we mean by that is he always seems to be attracted to danger in some way or another. Some of his most favorite love interests seem to be a danger to him directly, or they seem to be put in harm's way because of his vigilante work. So without further ado, we will examine some of his most favorite love interests in chronological order. Electra. Now we begin Matt's love life with his first romantic relationship, fellow college student, Electra. Matt and Electra met when he was going to Columbia University to study law, and they dated for a short period. Their romance would be short-lived, however, when Electra and her father Hugo are kidnapped by terrorists, and Matt botches up the rescue attempt, leading to the death of Electra's father. Distraught and full of despair, she leaves Matt and Columbia University to begin a journey to China to study martial arts. There she meets the blind sensei, Stick, the same Stick who trained Daredevil himself. But the darkness inside her was too much, and she left Stick to join The Hand, a secret organization of assassin ninjas. There she trains and becomes one of the deadliest combatants in the Marvel Universe, and she eventually breaks away from The Hand and goes to New York City as an assassin for hire. In New York, she comes at odds with Daredevil, and through particular circumstances, he reveals his identity to her. They continue to work together on and off to renew their romance until she's eventually killed by the supervillain Bullseye, who stabs her through the chest with one of her own weapons. Before dying, she goes to Matt Murdock's brownstone apartment, and she dies in his arms on his own steps. While this isn't the end for Elektra, this truly ended the romance that Elektra and Daredevil shared, and is one of the most notable love stories of Daredevil. Karen Page the longest on-again and off-again romance in Matt's life is his original secretary at Nelson and Murdoch, the beautiful Karen Page. Karen immediately fell in love with Matt, but there was always a sexual tension in the workplace between Matt Foggy and Karen. Though they never acted upon their love, when Karen discovered that Daredevil's secret identity was Matt, she couldn't bear to be with him because of Matt's violent nightlife, so she went to Hollywood to become a movie actress. While she enjoyed the career of middling actress, she eventually started working in a pornographic film because of her newly acquired addiction to heroin. In need of money for a fix, she sold the identity of Daredevil to a drug dealer who in turn sold that information to the crime lord Kingpin, who used this information to torment Matt Murdock's life. Karen eventually comes back to New York and Matthew takes her in and helps her beat her addiction to heroin. And then they share an apartment and live out a romantic lifestyle for a time until she discovers that Matt is also having an affair with Typhoid Mary. She then runs away to California only to come back to New York with some devastating news that she is in fact HIV positive. Of course this news is only a ruse by the supervillain Mysterio to cause Daredevil more torment. Yes, I said Mysterio, one of Spider-Man's villains. But before the truth that it was all a trick by Mysterio could be revealed, there's a fight between Bullseye and Daredevil once again. This time, Bullseye catches one of Daredevil's own billy clubs, and he throws it back at him. Karen jumps in the way, immediately dying in Daredevil's arms. Murdoch still thinks of his love for Karen often, and is tormented by his inability to keep her safe, and is one of the most bittersweet love stories in his storied career. Black Widow in the 1970s, Daredevil relocated to San Francisco for a time where he grew very close to Natalia Romanov, the Black Widow. During these times, the two teamed up to be the protectors of San Francisco, partnering up to deal with the colorful cast of villains that they had to face up against. The team up was so popular that they renamed the comic Daredevil and Black Widow for a short time. The two shared an apartment during their team up because of Comics Code, actually preventing the writers from clearly stating the extent of their relationship. However, in later stories, it is stated that they were romantically involved, but Matt Murdock thought of it as merely platonic. Hence, when Black Widow grew bored of being treated as the sidekick, she left Matt so that she could go on and do bigger and better things. Typhoid Mary Now let's talk about another one of the villainesses that Daredevil has been known to romance, the mentally unstable mutant Typhoid Mary. In Daredevil's original origin, Mary was actually working at the brothel where he was fighting the minions of the Fixer, and in his rage, he pushed the girl out a window who attacked him. Well, it turns out that that girl was mild-mannered Mary Walker, but when she walked away from the accident, we learned that she began to suffer from disassociative identity disorder and developed three abnormal personalities. We first run into her as Time Forward Mary when she was hired by the Kingpin to be an assassin. During this time, we see her battling with Daredevil and romancing Matt Murdock. It didn't take long for Daredevil to learn that she had some mental issues, and that she would unrelentingly attack him on multiple occasions. This love-hate relationship is notable because Mary is a super-powered mutant with low-level telekinesis and pyrokinesis. 
This is another great example of how love is not so easy for our hero, Daredevil. Mila Donovan. Lastly, we want to talk about Matt's first and only wife, Mila Donovan. Matt meets Mila when she was crossing a busy street in New York, and he saves her from an oncoming truck. It turns out that Mila was also blind, and the two of them form a very strong romantic relationship. They eventually are married, but Mila doubts that they should be married because Matt is going through a nervous breakdown from the death of his longtime lover, Karen Page. They continue to stay married until the supervillain Mr. Fear drugs Mila, which causes her to act strangely, and she accidentally kills an innocent bystander by pushing an old man in front of an oncoming train. She eventually is put on trial and institutionalized because of her mental state from Mr. Fear's drugs that caused the death. Matt eventually decided to divorce Mila in order to distance himself from her, though he was pressured to do so by Mila's parents. Mila is still on that same mental institution because of the permanent damage from the drugs. As you can see, Matt has had many colorful love stories throughout his publication history, as it is very important to his character. One thing is for sure, when it comes to romance for Daredevil, it usually turns into tragedy one way or another. If you want to chat about this video, join us on Twitter at ComicStorian. And if you want to enjoy some gaming variety from the same team that brings you ComicStorian, join us over on our gaming channel, Eligible Monster. That is where this whole thing started. I will see you guys next time right here at ComicStorian, and we will be bringing you the love stories of Spider-Man, though it's going to be a little farther out than we would like it to be from Valentine's Day. Thank you, and have a good evening.